Hey guys, I'm Alastair from Trail and Kale, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Brooks Launch 10. Now, these running shoes really surprised me. Firstly, because the price tag is only $110, so I thought, what can these shoes possibly offer for only $110? Well, I'm pleased to be able to say I was really impressed with the performance of these running shoes, and if I didn't know the price tag before running in them, I would probably place them at around $150. In this Brooks Launch 10 review, I'm gonna be going over some of the key features of this road running shoe. Uh, the features that really stand out to me and how they can actually benefit your performance whilst running in them. Then I'm gonna go over who I think these running shoes are gonna be best for. And then finally, if they're worth your money. A really quick overview of the Brooks Launch 10 then. This is Brooks Running's entry level speed running shoe so it's the most basic speed running shoe in their speed range but there's really nothing basic about it i know i said before it's only 110 dollars um, but actually you get a lot of shoe for that money i'm going to go over some of the important features or things that you need to know about the brooks launch 10 quickly then so i said earlier it's 110 dollars that's amazing value for money the drop in the shoe has a 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe and it's got a fairly low stack height as well um, meaning the midsole isn't hugely thick and high off the ground and I really like that that helps give this lightweight running shoe a nice responsive feel when you're running in them and they're so lightweight that when you're running in them it just feels very efficient you don't feel like you're carrying bricks on your feet um, because the turnover is just so quick because it's you know you've just got this really featherweight shoe that you're wearing whilst you're running, so I really like how they feel. Now I said they're responsive, but there is some pretty good cushioning in here. I'd say there's medium cushioning, that's how it feels to me. Um, the width of the shoe is medium, uh, that includes the toe box. Um, and they fit true to size, so if you're familiar with Brooks running shoes, if you've run in them before, just go with your usual size and you should be really happy with that. They weigh 8.2 ounces, which is 232 grams, which is crazy lightweight. Um, there's a lot more, more expensive running shoes that weigh more than this. So you're getting a really lightweight shoe for just $110, which I think is incredible. Now there's not a huge amount of support in terms of lateral roll in the running shoe. Um, that's fine for most runners, that's fine for me. I don't really need the extra support. But if you are maybe newer to running, um, and you do worry about your ankle rolling whilst you're running. Uh, you can go for the GTS version of the shoes. I'll put a link in the description so you can go check that one out. Effectively, it's got Brooks Running's proprietary guide rails, which helps keep your foot stable when you're running and uh, reduces the risk of injury. Now I'm gonna go over the features that stand out to me for this running shoe, you know, how it's different to other running shoes on the market right now, but also how those features can benefit your running performance. So the first one is how lightweight it is. I mean, this shoe, as I said before, weighs hardly anything. And I just love how lightweight running shoes feel when I'm running. If I'm running maybe a longer distance or I'm trying to run faster, which is the aim of this running shoe, by the way, to help you run faster, then I just want as little weight on my feet as possible because that's gonna be more efficient for my leg muscles. Not having to carry more weight with me is always gonna be a good thing. So I absolutely love how they feel because of how lightweight they are. And that definitely helps my performance. The second feature that I really like about the Brooks Launch 10 is the upper material, which is a stretchy knit material. Now the benefits of a stretchy knit material in the upper means that the upper can effectively stretch a little bit to your feet, giving your feet that much needed hug and secure fit within the shoe. The other great thing about this upper material in particular is the fact it's very breathable. So your feet can regulate temperature very well when you're running fast in these running shoes. Another really nice feature that I love about the Brooks Launch 10 is the articulated heel at the back. So around the collar, it's very soft. So is the, the heel counter here. Um, but I just love the way it slopes back because that means there's no additional pressure on your Achilles when you're running. Uh, you still get the support and the nice heel lock, but when you're running, this part of the shoe does not dig into your Achilles. So if you've ever suffered from Achilles tendonitis, or generally you get sore Achilles when running, 
then you're gonna love this feature. And it's something I absolutely love too. I see it a lot, lot in Nike running shoes and also Hoka running shoes. Um, and it's a huge hit for me. Feels great. Next thing on the upper is the lacing system. Not a huge amount to say about this. It's very traditional. Um, the laces cinch up very well when you're doing them up, trying to get that nice secure fit. So I really like the laces. They stay done up as well due to the nice texture on the lace. Hopefully you can see. Um, so yeah, lacing system works really well. Now the tongue is a little bit short. I would like to see a larger tongue in the Brooks Launch 11, the next version. Uh, but there's plenty of cushioning where you need it, which is where the laces go over the tongue and could potentially put pressure on the top of your foot. So there's plenty of push cushioning on the tongue and I don't get any pressure, so it feels really nice. Final thing to mention on the upper then is it's about 60% recycled materials that are going into this upper uh, construction. So if you're very eco-conscious, you care about your environment like we do at Trail & Kill, then you'll really appreciate running brands making the effort to make their running shoes more sustainable. And Brooks are one of those brands that are doing a great job right now of doing that. Third part of this shoe that I really like is the midsole. Um, it's got a very responsive feel, but that doesn't mean it's not cushioned because it is, it feels perfectly cushioned. Um, in fact, I would say it's got a medium amount of cushioning, so not super crazy firm and not super plush. It's right in the middle, I really like it. Um, and it's using Brooks's DNA foam, which you can see, hopefully here, DNA foam, which is created using a very scientific process, which I go into in my full in-depth review on trailandkale.com. There's a link up there if you want to go read it in full. Uh, I put lots more pictures of myself running in these shoes and me testing them, um, all the different materials and features on there. So definitely go check that out if you're interested in learning more about this running shoe. But yes, beyond the science mumbo jumbo of the midsole, it does perform very well. It stays um, very springy and bouncy over long periods of time. So it's got great energy return that actually lasts, meaning the durability in the midsole and your cushioning is very good. So Brooks has done a great job there. The next thing I'm going to mention very quickly is the outsole. It's got tons of nice tread traction patterns, multi-directional going on in there, um, which I have nothing bad to say about right now. Um, I've not had any slips um, and I've stuck to the ground very well. Traction is very good even when running fast because I've been doing a lot of tempo runs in these shoes um, and they just feel really good for tempo runs and I still can't believe they're only $110. I mean, for a shoe like this, $110 it's just an incredible bargain and I can't recommend them enough. <laughs> so the only real bad thing that I can say about these shoes um, is the length of the tongue. It's a little bit short when you're trying to um, do up your laces and you, you kind of want to pull that tongue a little bit further. Um, like I said, it doesn't really bother me, but I was finding it really hard to find anything bad about these shoes. So um, I just jumped to the tongue and that's the only fault that I could um, say about it and it's really not even that bad. So here are these Brooks Launch 10 running shoes for. I've alluded to this in this review a little bit but it's for anyone who's looking to run fast and doesn't want to break the bank doing it. So if you're like me and many runners then you've probably got multiple pairs of running shoes in your running shoe lineup um, and you like to cycle between them um, so that you, don't, you avoid injuries but also you need different types of shoes for different types of runs. Yes, they exist. Uh, this is a speed running shoe and I would recommend running in it for your tempo runs. So that's any of your challenging speed runs and maybe even for your intervals, this shoe could be a great choice for you. Now I'm saying this because they're a very responsive shoe. They're very affordable at $110 and they're very lightweight. And that's exactly what you want in a speed running shoe. So it ticks all the boxes for me. Uh, there are multiple colors to choose from and like I said before, if you do need extra support, there is a Brooks Launch GTS 10 and that's basically the stability version of this running shoe. 
same all apart from the stability in the midsole uh, which kind of hugs your foot a little bit more thanks to Brooks Running's guide rails. If I've missed anything in this review um, and you're still not sure whether this shoe might be good for you please just leave a comment down below um, I'll get back to you very quickly uh, with an answer and hopefully we can get you outfitted in the right shoes for you. And finally, are they worth your money? Well, if you're the right runner who kind of fits this Brooks Launch 10 running shoe, then hell yes, they are worth your money. $110, I actually can't name another running shoe uh, that cheap that performs this well. And I can honestly say I haven't come across one in at least the last five years probably. So Brooks has really impressed me with the Brooks Launch 10. Huge thumbs up from me. And yeah, that's all from me. I really appreciate you watching this video. Please give it a like if you found it helpful. Share it with a friend if they're looking for a cheap pair of running shoes that perform incredibly well. And please consider subscribing to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this. See you next time.